All right, everyone, welcome back for another episode of Carnivore Trades. It is Tuesday, June 22nd, and markets squeezing higher here into the close. Um, as you can see, uh, I don't know if you guys picked it up on Twitter. I did pick up some Apple just now, a few minutes ago. Um, normally, I don't like buying these types of... I mean, you see this nice little breakout here of this wedge. Um, I normally do not buy these types of breakouts because these patterns are notorious for having the first breakout be sort of the false signal. And a lot of times you see it move down immediately after and you get a reversal. But I have talked about Apple for the last week or so and we've talked about the disinflation trade, the potential for that to be the next narrative on Wall Street. Um, these tech stocks will perform well in that environment. And as you can see, tech outperforming today, even as yields started higher, um, tech really was just off to the races. Uh, as you see the triple Qs here, um, pretty much immediately. And then now yields, uh, lower on the session as they reversed to a red. But um, the logic really here behind this is I still think that we are going to um, have a move higher in yields at some time in August. Um, we've I've talked about the, let's actually just pull up the yields here really quick. Um, I think or someone would cooperate. But uh, so basically we've talked about the potential for the move higher in yields in August and uh, I talked about the need for yields to consolidate just a little bit more, and here we go. So as you can see, actually on the monthly, if you pull that up, um, you, you know, the symmetry there. We're looking for like one more month of consolidation, which could uh, mean that tech outperforms in the month of July. And while I think the yields are gonna move higher uh, eventually, in the short term, I wanna be hedged. Um, I don't wanna get caught with my pants down. And I do like Apple right here, because out of all the tech stocks, uh recently i mean you look at apple here apple's way off the all-time highs whereas you look at microsoft google facebook nvidia um it's really undervalued and underperformed so i like the uh the uh, potential here for apple in the short term um if this really gets going apple is one of those uh darling stocks that can really make a run so um, obviously, next resistance here is going to be at uh, 137, where you have this red pivot here, um, if, assuming it holds this breakout. And then, obviously, you have just a little bit higher at about 138. And then after that, it's all-time highs. But um, nonetheless, just a little hedging going on uh, for me. I just don't want to get stuck here in uh, in a short tech position for the next month and not be able to take any money in. Uh, also, this Agnico Eagle position... Um, Really getting close to stopping out on this. Uh, we had the we had the reversal yesterday, but um, this is really not showing me much. And uh, gold I had a nice pop around the 2:30 time frame, and now it's rolling back over. So um, I may roll out of this position. Honestly, uh, actually, maybe just even after the close, uh, this thing's just not looking very good right now. Um, I and mean, we can always pick it up lower. We do have a nice 0.618 retrace. Um, if we can see. So we'd have a nice 0.618 retrace, but the bounce here has been kind of underwhelming. And um, yeah, we can always pick this up lower or do something else with it. But uh, in the short term, I'm not a big fan of this right now. Speaking of 618, um, in regards to yields, I know I've showed you guys this, but I just want to show you again. So yields can actually trade down as low as uh, really 1.3, and it would just be a 0.382 retrace on the chart there. So. You know, you know, kind of the narrative right now is like, oh, bond yields are coming down, bond yields are coming down, but really, this is just a, this is all routine, routine backing and filling, and uh, we can retest this uh, 1249 area, it would be perfectly fine. Uh, 1.3, anywhere in that range is really okay uh, on bond yields, it's just all consolidation. So as market's closing now here, um, Spider's pulling back just a little bit, still closed just above that 423 area. Um, Apple closing near the highs, uh, VIX taking a hit into the close. Again, um, we could be moving into a, a blow-off top type scenario. Wouldn't be surprising to me if they get these spiders up to all-time highs tomorrow, and uh, we had some type of a rally into July where we put in a major top, um, and we could get that one more loop, move lower in the VIX like I've been talking about. Um, as you can see, the VIX here. I think this is actually a fake print on the VIX. It's, it's showing that the low was... 1576 on the day, but I think that's a fake print because if you look at the intraday here, it's pretty much, yeah, the low is 1672, 
1664. So I don't know what that was all about. Maybe a fake print. But um, either way, uh, I just want to give you an update on that. Um, so Long Apple right now looking to possibly cut Agnico Eagle just for performance. But um, yeah, uh, also keep an eye on the dollar. Um, we did confirm above the 200 moving average yesterday, or uh, excuse me, on Friday. And now pulling back a little bit, but if there's one thing that's going to really uh, stall this market out, if the, if the dollar holds up, which I think it should, this is a pretty big surge. But um, that's going to be the thing that kind of is like the elephant in the room nobody's really talking about right now. But um, other than that, um, on the long side, uh, in, over going over the next month, I think mega cap tech is kind of where you want to be. That's why I'm long Apple. But um, a more macro picture, I'm still bearish tech for the second half of the year, um, especially as we get into that August time frame. All right, guys, uh, take care. Have a great rest of your day, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.